So how many performances of Bassa Fiamenga? How many performances? <laughs> Uno, due, tre, quattro. Bene. Bene. Uh, so, and, and then we have uh, La Sol Famire Ut, which is uh, also a splendid capriccio. As I told you yesterday, uh, one part of the capricci is uh, composed on uh, themes from the solmization, <laughs> from the exact chords. Uh, so from uh, La Sofamire Ut, is, uh, it was famous in Renaissance period for a mass composed by um, Josquin de Pré in the first half of the 16th century. And then this theme occurred very frequently in the works of uh, com later composers, including uh, uh, instrumental music. Um, but then there is another side of the Capricci and is uh, composed of um, Capricci on popular themes. So, the themes that are coming from popular music, from folk music. Uh, it's not a surprise uh, because, uh, at least, the uh, Tango Escobaldi, um, uh, to, to make variations, singing, mostly singing, but also with instruments, on uh, some uh, special popular tunes, uh, it, it was uh, very common we think of the Romanesca. Romanesca is not included uh, in the in Capricci, but uh, Bassa Fiamminga, uh, Il Ruggero, Spagnoletta, are all uh, uh, popular themes that are treated by Frescobaldi as a subject of counterpoint. So it changes completely the use of these themes is very, I mean, it is a challenge for him. He, he demonstrated to be able to do this. Uh, in fact, uh, the, uh, some of them, they were just bass line, uh, harmonic lines on which uh, the singer performed the variations, so the, the, the tune in reality changed uh, all the time. So it was not just a tune, uh, treble line, but a bass, the, the Basso di Ruggero, uh, this... Of course, it's perfect for playing harmonies because it's fundamental uh, notes for fundamental chord, except this six, of course. And Frescobaldi, for the first time, he treated this theme as a, a subject. Second phrase in the treble, but with a counter subject. It uses the four sentences, the four little uh, segments of the bass uh, as four different uh, subjects. <laughs> so very wise and very um, skillful, I think. So why don't we start with a performance, Naomi, at, at the harpsichord. I know you prepared the Bassa Fiamenga at the harpsichord. Bassa Fiamenga was a Flemish dance the most famous keyboard uh, example of this tune is uh, in the manuscript of Susanne van Sold, uh, Alemande Bruns Medlein. And uh, the subject is. Uh, mm. 
As always, uh, Fresco Baldi starts uh, with the much longer note values, the first section, then it, uh, it comes uh, much faster and uh, with the very uh, lively effects and in the following section, but the first one is ex always very noble, very solemn. So please start. Sorry if I stop you. Um, there are many uh, sections, uh, uh, small sections, uh, which ends at the end of longer sections, and normally triple time, uh, that we call the adagio, as they are called in other works by Frescovaldi. Um, the fact is that there are several, <laughs> and in my opinion, this. It was too too slow, and you stopped too much. the The sound of this harpsichord is not very long because it's a small instrument. So why don't you try to keep, uh, of course, to suspend the tempo and uh, give the idea of uh, uh, going to a toccata style? But uh, for me, it was too much. If you can start again, the the six four tempo, which is the the faster triplet uh, ta tempo in, in the four word of Scobaldi. Actually, it's a binary tempo because it's made of two minims uh, with the dot. But every minim has always in the 6 4 a uh, prolatio of three notes uh, for every beat. So, it's extremely fluent. It's important that, uh, it, of course, that there is a first cadence. Mm -hmm. This is a stop on the on the fifth, fifth degree of the tone. That is a second tone uh, piece. Uh, if we see, of course, the structure, uh, uh, but then there is a something that uh, falls and rise again to this uh, sp splendid chord. So, so to stop... <laughs> it 
ding, dun, 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 again. So you can pl play off if you like. Okay, okay. And then you go ahead. You have to think to a gesture in playing. Gesture is fluid, never stopping in the in the flow. The trill, trill, yeah, at the left hand it should be uh, faster. Very fluent, very lively as it should be. Look, uh, uh, sorry if I stop you, but it's just to, to explain some uh, uh, aspect of uh, every section. Th here, um, there is a, a question about how to play this triple time, because uh, you, you see it's written in black notes, that the long uh, uh, world notes with dots are black. So it, it's a bit strange. Uh, for, for us, uh, um, way to, to write music, but it was, uh, it had a meaning at the time. It was actually the emiola. Emiola, uh, uh, also for the one who play Baroque music, is uh, meaning uh, a shift of accents. If we think uh, to the current, the current, the French current, uh, is a dance where you have, uh, of course, uh, the tr triple tempo as a stable uh, rhythm and then towards the, the cadence you have uh, as, um, shifted a accent uh, not every three but every two so you have one two three one two three then one two one two one two one two three the same thing uh, is uh, meant by the emiola emiola so in fact, uh, we have a 6-4 section here, but, and we ask why he wouldn't have uh, written again 6-4. It, it has a meaning. It, 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 it hasn't uh, to be performed exactly in the same tempo, I think. And the relation is um, the minimum is the pulse of the uh, former uh, section ding, bum, bum, ba, ba, ba. so two minims every bar tum, tum. and here literally but of course uh, one has to, to take with granosalis uh, uh, each two black uh, crotchets has to be placed a, a, a former minim so tum, bum, tum, tum, tin, tum, tin, tum, tum. so it creates uh, with the uh, uh, hemiolas, uh, triplet time, but uh, with a mm, longer bar and uh, what was meant to be a, a tempo, a double te tempo, sure. it's made uh, with the same pulse, uh, a longer uh, bar made with triplet uh, <laughs> rhythms. Okay. 
you understand, it's yes. a bit uh, complicated, but uh, so at the, at the end it will be a little bit uh, more s slow than the 6.4. In fact, uh, Scobaldi say, says 6.4 is the fastest uh, triplet movement. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but anyway, to make uh, you a clear uh, picture, I've uh, given you a photocopy with uh, a scheme. So pl please uh, bring your photocopy and you will recognize uh, that there is, uh, I hope you still have with you, the photocopies of Capricci. Mm -hmm. And there is a clear, uh, how to say, diagram <laughs> of different uh, uh, triplet uh, uh, length, uh, of, of course, compared with the double tempo. So at least uh, a bit slower. So if you tum pam pam tim pam tin ta dum tin ta din tin ta din ta din tin ta, so <laughs> it's uh, oh, oh, very often Frescobaldi plays likes to play with the uh, syncopations. Also the in the in the former section, ti to ti ta pa ti ti tu ti ta so triplet double double. Uh, don't know it's, uh, all the time, uh, very often in his music. So again here, but uh, with um, more, how to say, refrained uh, movement. <laughs> have a one stop only for the following section. So here we have, um, just to explain the music, we have a more complex uh, section in the long uh, brevis uh, bar and uh, with actually three themes at once. One is the... Uh, 